Pokemon. I decided to do something other than Pokemon because I'm doing a, I've been doing a lot of it, it. So here I'm doing not really a ripoff, but Loon's TD4, but it's a bit buggy because I don't know. They managed to emulate it somehow, but it is a bit buggy and laggy. But anyways. Let's just play. I'm... Wait, why did I do that? I'm gonna start off by placing a dart monkey here so that it can... pierce through the balloons. And we can already afford a spike pult somehow, so we're gonna do that. It's pretty good. The tax shooter we're gonna place on this. Oh wait, we can't afford it. <laughs> As you can see, the spike pult is pretty powerful. Also, sorry for the inconsistent uploading schedule. I'm gonna try and make it a bit more consistent. Nice, we got a boomerang thrower and we can afford attack shooter, which I'm gonna get. I've also found out that the boomerang thrower, well, you can optimize, it actually really matters where it's placed because it shots curve. So right next to the, right to the left of the dart monkey is a pretty good spot to put it. But currently I'm gonna work on upgrading the tack shooter. And we're close to ranking up. Probably this round or the next round. And we can get some extra range. But we need $240 to get the blade shooter. Which basically just makes it shots bigger so that it will hit more balloons. Nice, a bomb tower that will come in useful later when we have to deal with lead balloons. And we have our blade shooter. Oh, 
Also, if anyone has any ideas for some games for me to play, please tell me. Although, some games I can't... It's hard to really record them because... Some games you can... are very fun alone, but don't really convert well into a video. I'm hoping this comes out as a video and works well, but it might not. And if it doesn't, then you aren't hearing. Then if it doesn't work well as a video, then you won't be able to hear this commentary. So, great, it came out well. Nice road spikes are just useful if you, like, if all the towers miss the balloons and, like, a balloon is coming out through here, you can just plop some road spikes down and that will help protect it. Anyways, I'm gonna get the boomerang thrower because the shots will kind of curve in a way that hits a lot of balloons. Now, multi-target is going to be essential to having this work, because, you know, we need, need, need piercing. There we go. Yeah, Sonic Boom is nice, because it allows you to place an ice tower nearby and still let the boomerangs pop the frozen balloons, which is nice. Nice sonic boom. Now we're down to $12. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop the video when we get to maybe rank 15 or 20, depending on how long it takes. I know that the early game takes quite a bit to get through, so I don't know. Now we can get the glaive thrower, which is nice. The glaives go faster and pop more balloons. There's yellow ones. 
a more powerful balloon. They are also really fast. Ooh, nice, a nice tower. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that right here. Takes a bit. Then we're gonna try and get the improved ice tower. After that, we can get permafrost, which slows balloons down after they've been frozen, which is really nice. Nice. Now we can get permafrost. And after permafrost is snap freeze, which is just a nice upgrade because it allows the ice tower to do to help pop like red balloons. So there's permafrost. Now after these balloons thaw out, they still they'll be slower than normal. Kind of like a weaker version of the glue gunner. And you can sorry about that. You can see here snap freeze. But it will be a bit until we can get that. Also, I'm gonna see if I can do any editing because so far all the editing things I've found just take way too long to download. No, not to download the video after it's been edited. Even if I only made like a small bit of text before the video. Oh, I completely forgot about this. We can get snap freeze now. So you'll see that Oh, great. Okay. Any red balloons that get frozen by this will now just pop, as you can see there. And other balloons will go down a level, like that yellow just transforms into a green balloon. We're almost at rank 7, which is nice. Yeah, mortar. It's really expensive, so... Well, it's relatively expensive, so we're gonna have to wait to get that, but it's pretty useful.
we're really close to being able to get the bomb tower, which is, again, useful for popping leads when we need to. Okay. I thought the glaive thrower wasn't popping the frozen balloons for a second. And I think that was our first pink balloon. I'm not sure though. And if any of you are wondering, RBE is red balloon equivalent. So it's basically how much damage you need to do, because a red balloon has a red balloon takes one pop to destroy. A blue balloon it takes one pop, one hit to pop, but then it turns into a red balloon. So it effectively has two, it effectively takes two hits to destroy. So that's how the RBE is calculated. And I completely forgot that we now have access to the bomb tower. I'm just going to place it right there. There are probably better spots, but it's decent. It's able to access the front of the track where lead balloons are coming in. And it's able to get any lead stray lead balloons that get past it the first time. And we almost have enough for bigger bombs, which will allow it to pop more balloons. And now it's a pretty good tower just overall. A pineapple. Now we should have enough for longer range and possibly... Yep, missile launcher. And our first black balloon, I think, which is immune to explosions, but our uh, spike apult, glaive thrower, blade shooter, and even Ice Tower should take care of it pretty easily. And again, we're almost... We only need to pop a few more balloons until we rank up. Which, I think? We'll guess the glue gunner. Not sure though. It could get maybe the monkey beacon. And white balloons, which are immune to freezing.
and a few stray balloons. If we need to take care of, if they get past our other towers, I can always use road spikes, but I don't think they will. Maybe these two. Okay, no. Yeah, they're dead. Okay, let's just end your misery. <laughs> Yep, a glue gunner. These are really useful because not only do they slow balloons down, but if you upgrade them enough, they deal damage over time to balloons. I'm gonna get one there. So stickier glue makes glue last longer. The glue soak makes it last even longer. And then corrosive glue. This is really nice, but we can't afford it yet. I put it near the front so that I can glue more balloons. I'm actually going to set it to strong so that it will corrode away the strongest balloons. And actually, this should go on to last so that... Like, if balloons are coming in from the top, which they are, then it will target the last balloon, meaning... Oftentimes, it gets more hits. And... Wait, we don't... Oh, I should have gotten a mortar. Because mortar... So, uh, camo balloons? Most towers can't see camo balloons. The mortar... Uh, it isn't really aiming at anything, it just fires explosions in one place, so it will hit camo balloons either way. So I guess we're just gonna use some tacks. Yeah, I should probably get a more- and zebra balloons! They're basically white and black balloons, and they release a white balloon and a black balloon when popped. That's about it. Uh, but you probably should get a mortar relatively soon, because there will be a lot more camos in the upcoming round. Nice, only 200 more money. Yeah, did you see how the spike pole is hitting a lot of balloons in a row because it's on last targeting? Thrower should also be on last targeting for pretty much the same reason. And missile launcher on strong. Oh nice, we can get the mortar tower. We're gonna set it to just uh, aim there. We definitely want greater accuracy. The explosion size won't change, but it will allow us to focus where we want it more. Nice. Uh, yeah, go here. Then rapid reload just makes the mortar fire faster, which is pretty nice.
Nice, now we can get rapid reload. And Bloom Buster is just a simple damage up. It's nice, not too important. I'm probably gonna get another glue gunner sound first without corrosive glue, just to slow balloons down. Eh. Maybe not. I don't think we actually need that. Oh, here's where the mortar comes in really nice to pop like lead balloons easily, and we can even change where it fires. Like, we could have it go there. Go there. To try and pop all these balloons. Boom! And you can see just how slow these balloons are. And the corrosive glue just slowly... ...corrodes them. Then I'm gonna put this back here. And still can't afford that. We should be able to soon. Nice, a full mortar, and this should provide some good popping power, just to help out, and it will provide essential to deal with camos. Let's see how close we are to 10, and only a few more balloons. Yeah, we should see a new tower. I don't know what it is, though. I forgot. Oh, nice, the beacon. It's pretty good. But it's also even more expensive than the mortar. Let's have this deal with some of these leads. Yeah, we really need the monkey beacon. It provides range and with an upgrade attack speed to your to towers around it, and it can call in a super monkey storm if you upgrade it enough, but then again you need to get to rank a, like rank 17. No, I don't want to end the game. We can toss down ex an exploding pineapple. Just to do some damage. Mm. 
And you quickly get that red balloon. Yeah. Okay, nice. We can get the beacon. We're in an awkward... All the towers are kind of in an awkward position, but this should get everything even... Well, except for the mortar. But it should even get the glaive thrower once we get wider influence. Yep, we've got the glaive thrower in range. And for the low, low price of $1,275, you can get jungle drums. Just getting ready to move this if necessary. to get that white balloon. Okay, there we go. And a lot of balloons here. Probably should get some spikes. Okay, we've got this. Yeah, let's put this back over here. Come on, hurry up and die. <laughs> you know what? Oh. Take some monkey glue. drums. Ten more dollars. And more attack speed. Nice. Again, monkey glue for you. Nice. More monkey glue. Let's actually get
ones. Uh, you might not have seen them, but they uh, release zebra balloons when you destroy them. Probably need some glue. Okay, I'll just use some tacks. And let's get these blue balloons. Sheesh, that is slow. Oh, nice. You can. Nice. A soul sonar beacon. Oh yeah, that's what it does. It allows you to detect camos. Well, at least inside its radius. Nice, I'm currently just saving up money. get a blade shooter here. Just to help out. Probably two. Now in Bloons Tower Defense 4, you don't actually need to place down a landing pad. 
Which means, theoretically, if you had enough money, you could have as much popping power as you want. Because it doesn't take up space, you could just spam them everywhere. But we're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put one here and another one on the other side of the map as soon as I can afford it. Yeah, spy plane is nice. It will allow basically any tower to detect camo as long as it's nearby the plane, but then again, we've already got the monkey beacon. So, what's more important is the upgrade that comes after this, rapid fire. Because before, it's just like a bit of extra popping power, maybe if you get lucky, but with this, it actually does some decent damage. Oh wow, I didn't realize how long this video is. I... Should I end it? I think I'm gonna end it here and... Well, after this round is over and then just... Immediately after record the part 2 to this. Come on, round, hurry up. And also slow down because I need to pop you with some pineapples. Go! Pineapple army! Hurry up. I am spending so much money. Okay, well, goodbye everyone. Hopefully, my voice. Hopefully, this wasn't a bunch of static. Because I'm still new to voiceovers. <laughs> okay, anyways, goodbye everyone.